Here we have a Letourneau L1850 rubber tire loader. This is made by TWH and it's in 150 scale. Now this is a fantastic loader. It's been kept in the box. The plastic is still on the tires and uh, TWH just did a great job. I mean it's just like any other TWH model where it's the details is just simply outstanding. Uh, the weight of the model is very heavy. It's very big and uh, just the the detail and the walkways and the the all the the um, opening uh, access panels and everything is just uh, second to none. There's a little ladder that slid out. Um, all the the hydraulic details are great. I mean everything. They they left nothing out. Uh, the cylinders are pretty pretty darn stiff. It'll pretty much hold any page you want to put it in. The bucket is real stiff, but that's not a bad thing. It'll look great on the shelf, and it'll it'll hold whatever page you want to whatever page you want to put it in. So that yeah, that's pretty nice. Uh, as far as the detail goes on everything, is just uh, just fan fantastic. Um, the only thing that uh, it's kind of hard to deal with when you have the amount of detail that this loader does is it is pretty darn fragile uh, and that that can make it hard to uh, hard to move around and hard to handle especially given the weight but I mean every part of it is just phenomenal like everything in the under you know everything inside there everything underneath is just fantastic um, the motor detail is great I mean look at the fan underneath that mesh I mean, that's just it's perfect uh, they could not have possibly done a better job. They even had the little uh, little chain handrails there. They just uh, they look great. So overall, it's a pretty awesome model. Uh, this is the white version with the 55 yard bucket. Uh, you can get it in either yellow or white, and I think you could get both versions with either the 33 yard bucket or 55. And this is obviously has the 55 yard bucket. And uh, it's just a fantastic loader. Now you'll notice there's no no drive shaft in between here. It's because it's it's a diesel electric. I guess you call it a hybrid or whatever. It's electric drive uh, loader. So the only thing that has to go through there is uh, the hydraulic lines and the electric lines for the motors. So that's kind of a neat neat tidbit there. There aren't many companies that make a uh, a loader like this. Uh, and that's yeah, that, that's Laterno's thing. It's always been his thing, is to use electric motors in place of the hydraulics, which makes sense. But uh, anyway, that's about it. Uh, if you'd like to see more videos, just subscribe to Maryland Construction Diecast. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments section. As always, thanks for watching.